I'm Rosie Kimber and I'm a jeweller based in Dundee. In my work I use sugar crystals and casts of the sugar crystals in resin and silicon um, to make pieces where elements of it will change over time as they're worn and become part of day-to-day -day life um, and then there'll be parts of it which stay the same like the cast of the crystals be something permanent. I'm quite interested at playing with the like ideas of preciousness in jewellery. So I think studying art and philosophy before gave me a different approach to making jewellery. When I started studying it I quite liked the limitations that jewellery has, the scale and the processes and, and some of the like traditional materials in it and I sort of quite liked playing around with those limitations and expectations of what jewellery is and being a bit playful with it. Sometimes when I make work I start off by actually growing the sugar crystals and then once I've grown them and it's always a little bit random how they turn out, I'll pick through them and find the exciting ones and sometimes I'll just find ways of setting them in silver. I use a lot of square silver wire to make settings which are kind of unique to the pieces. In other pieces of work I'll make silver structures and connect them by hinging them together or making rivets so that the individual components move and then when I've got a piece which is almost like a finished piece but with just silver structures which will kind of move I'll then suspend them into a sugar solution and let the crystals kind of cluster over it and how they form dictates how that piece will end up looking so it will be a little bit spontaneous and I don't have complete control over how that will be. And it's quite fun when I take them out and then I'll see how it's changed because it won't necessarily be what I thought will happen. With the sugar crystals they're quite tough and when they've, when they've grown they're actually stronger than you think they are but over time they'll gradually start to chip away as they're worn, as they become part of your life, especially with the pieces which I grow the sugar crystals onto. I think that's quite exciting because the sugar crystals have changed the form but then it'll just start to going back to maybe how it was originally was. So if somebody's got like a ring which has got a big lump of sugar crystals on, as their body heat and like washing their hands and just all going about their day-to-day -day life, that piece will change. But I think that's quite an exciting thing because as it actually becomes embedded in your life, it will change. Mm -hmm.